Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Hello, hi. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a BoxyCharm unboxing try-on style right here. And this is the look that I came up with using this month's product. This month's theme is Boxy and Chill right here. And if you guys would like to know how to get this look, then please keep on watching. <laughs> So this is this month's Boxy Charm. The first item on here is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask, and I think we've all heard about this brand. Uh, the little moisturizer that they have is very popular. I've never personally used it. Um, this would be my first my first item from this brand, and we got two of them. And it says it retails for twenty four dollars. I'm not sure if it's the price for two or each I'm not gonna use it today just because I'm already I've already kind of done my skin routine for this morning I'm already wearing moisturizers so I'm not gonna do it but when I do use it I will definitely let you guys know what I think about it the next item is this Briogeo Rosarco milk this is a leave-in conditioner spray to repair hair and I am actually already wearing it on my hair that's why my hair is in a bun right now I put it in and I'm just letting it soak in and by the end of this video I should let you guys know what I think about it um, and this product retails for $12 I already have a product by this brand I also got it in a previous box it's also some sort of like reparative thing I do not remember what it's called but I have used it at the beginning I was kind of whining because I feel like it's not a full-size product it's kind of small you know we're used to getting bigger things um, in our boxes and this is two fluid ounces but i i felt like i wasn't gonna get much use out of it like how many times am i really gonna be able to use this it just looks so small but honestly i've used it several times and i have plenty in there so i was just being greedy um but yeah i'll let you guys know what i think about this all right next billion dollar brows pencil and this is a universal brown pencil i'm always skeptical when products that claim to be universal meaning they'll work for any uh, hair color but we're gonna try this one and see what i think about it uh the price for this is 18 dollars. yeah it does come with a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other side so let's go ahead and apply this you guys i have a new mirror that my sister gave me for christmas it's one of those light up mirrors and it's so cute so I like to brush my eyebrows first. I'm pretty sure I have several videos already talking about how I do my brows, but... So, I'm gonna say it definitely is very creamy. Like, it literally just glides on. Um, the color... I don't know. I feel like it's a little red. Like, it has a little red undertone. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But can you guys see that? Especially right there on the end. Like, it's a little red for my, um, my hair color. It's definitely too orange. I don't know. I, I don't really like the color super creamy super pigmented but the color is not looking okay right like i know you guys can see that that is too orange oh my god my eyebrows look terrible i'm just not used to this pencil is it just me or do you guys see that like i don't know the color's weird I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back and I look crazy as hell, like for reals. <laughs> the color definitely, definitely does not go with me. Do y'all think that this shade would work with me or not? Because I feel like not. <laughs> okay, so next product is the Tarte 
High Performance Neutrals Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Is this beauty here? I initially, when I looked at all the options they had, I wanted the pink one. But I think it wasn't so much um, because of the shades that it had, but because the glitter on the front of the palette looks stunning. Um, but this one's really pretty, and I actually feel like I would use these shades a little bit more. They're mostly shimmers, all of them. But you can create a look. It's a little bit harder because we're normally accustomed to using uh, matte shades and then the glitter is almost always for the lid. Guys, so pretty. Let me get it closer here. And it does come with a mirror up here. And this is the cover. It's a really pretty palette. I've swatched some of the colors already and I like them. So let's just go in with it. And... I just like to go over to get rid of any creasing. First, I want to go in with the color tick, tick, Tiki right there. I'm going in with this It Cosmetics fluffy brush. And I'm going to use that as a transition shade. So with this same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Malibu which is this darker, shimmery brown. With my finger, I'm gonna take the shade Scape right here. I feel like I want to darken up the outer corner right here. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. Lately, I've been really digging this pretty vulgar uh, gel liner. We also got this in a boxy charm box in the past. I cannot tell you which one because I do not remember. But I initially didn't use it. I have no idea why. I felt like I was a little bit scared of uh, gel liner. I was used to liquid liner. I mean, it is much easier to use. But I gave this a try. And I really, really, really like it. It's like so, so pigmented. Like so pigmented. And it's actually not that hard to use. Sometimes we put this idea on our head that certain things are difficult and we really don't give it a chance. And then when we do, we're surprised to find out that it really is not that complicated. So I'm going to go in with this. Do I want to do a wing? Do we want a wing? Do we want a wing? I think we want a wing. So I'm going to go do the other eye and I'll be back. Now for highlight, I'm going to go into the same Tarte palette and I'm going to use the same shade that I use on my lids. Smoke it out, girl. Smoke it out. The last product on our box, if I can find the box, oh, is this Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in shade Miami Fever. This is an orange color, and I feel like I always get the orange or the weird colors that I don't personally use. I mean, not weird, but colors that I personally don't really use. I own a very similar shade, and it's by Smashbox. I mean, they look almost the same, except that this one is lighter, I feel, but we'll see. I've never worn anything like this, so let me go ahead and try it.
you guys I have to say that I'm really really liking this color what do you guys think I think it looks super cute and you see you'll never know if you like something unless you try it so I'm glad let me go do this hair and I'll be back for the finished result all right you guys this is the finished result using January 2019 boxycharm um, my final thoughts I liked all the products I especially like the lipstick it was surprisingly my favorite product in this box um, at the beginning I was very hesitant because of the color I've never worn a, an orange like this I've worn lo loud colors but I don't know something about orange it just I felt like it wouldn't look nice and at the end I really really like it this is definitely a color that I will be wearing again um, the palette was nice I mean it's mostly shimmer colors but you can use them in different ways and you can also use it as a highlighter I mean you guys see that like it's super beautiful my least favorite product of this box will definitely have to be the eyebrow pencil um, I didn't like the color even though now um, it looks like it matches me a little more I had to reapply and I did go in a little bit darker which I think made the undertone look better because if you guys remember at the beginning when I was applying I felt like it was really really red like it just did not go and I made it darker and I feel like it matches me better but it wouldn't be a product that I would go and choose and pick to use again or I might give it to my sister who I said uh, has a hair that I feel um, the eyebrows would uh, the eyebrow color would complement but it wouldn't be my choice um, of product mostly because of the color I think and other than that I have yet to try the Tatcha face mask but I'm sure they're gonna be amazing because like I said so many people talk about this brand already and um, yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, Jonathan is also going to try it. So <laughs> you guys will hear our thoughts on that. Probably on Instagram or maybe Twitter. Um, another thing, the hair mask. The Briogeo Ro Rosarco Milk. Briogeo Rosarco Milk. Amazing. Like I said, it was on my hair at the beginning of the video. And it's a, it is a leave-in conditioning spray. Uh, so I, I really did saturate my hair though uh, especially the ends because I have like super dry ends and I let that sit there and then I let it air dry and then I went in with my strainer and I do have to say that I think it made a difference like my hair is super disgusting <laughs> it is super dry the ends are horrible and I uh, it actually looks nice believe it or not I'm kind of seeing some sort of shine and I don't know the ends don't look so bad I guess so I, I think it did something like I said I've been using the other product that we got from them on another box and I do feel like it has made a difference um, on my hair I guess I'll have to use it a couple of more times um, but so far so good uh, I really didn't feel like I wanted to get uh, any more hair products or any hair products at all from BoxyCharm but it is kind of refreshing and good to get something different once in a while I guess this is all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this try on unboxing. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments down below so I can know that this is something you guys want to see from me every month. And we can review this and we can talk about it together so you guys will know. If you would like to sign up to BoxyCharm, which I 100% recommend, again, $21 every month for four to five full size products. I mean, you can't beat that, right? So I do recommend you join it. I will have a link down below in the description box so you can sign up. And usually they have some sort of promotion going on to where if you sign up using my link, you and I will both get a free product on the next box. And it's always something really good. So if you want to get an extra product, then go ahead and use my link below to sign up. Other than that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please subscribe down below. Hit the little bell so you can be notified when a new video is up. Give this video a thumbs up. Every single one of your likes and comments mean the world to me. So again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my loves.